Hey guys, it's Jack Armstrong. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded a video for a while. Uh, Panzermeister36, your follow of the right, right group build. This is my update to let you know that I am working on it. Thanks for the call out on your video that you just posted. Uh, here are the Jaguar Luftwaffe MPs. This is where I've gotten so far. As you can see, his sign broke off somewhere uh, along the way. Don't know how, where. The detail on these is very exquisite. There were virtually no seam lines, with the exception of the you know very minor things in it. As you can see with the white on there, that's putty. Uh, there's a lot of fit issues with these figures. I'm glad that I got them on sale because for the price that you would pay for them normally, I don't think they're a bargain, but with a little work, they can turn out nice. And of course, on the box art, this guy was, you know, wearing an officer's peak tap. I grabbed a Stahlhelm out of the spare parts box, and to portray him more as an NCO as opposed to an officer. And again, many fit issues, many many fit issues. What I use for filler is painters spackle. Uh, the cool thing about that is I can take my finger, dip it in water, and smooth this out. And then take a paintbrush dipped in water and feather it so it's virtually uh, no sanding with it and actually. Which makes it really super nice and easy to work with. Uh, once again that's painter spackle. Alrighty. And furthermore, on the group build, uh, I had mentioned the BMW R75 with Sidecar by Tamiya. My kit was dated 1972. Yep, you hear that Panzer Man build? Delilah's barking. Just like Grendel. Uh, here's where I am on, 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 the, on the BMW motorcycle, R75. Uh, I gave it an undercoat of Panzer Grey and a slight misting of dark yellow. Uh, I want to show, I'm going to try a new technique and if it works and you all like it, then I'll try to do a tutorial on it. Here's the sidecar of course, lots of work to do. Uh, once again dark grey with a dark yellow misting. Uh, I omitted Defender, being that this is late war, figuring that you know it was probably so badly damaged uh, during the battles in on the East Front in Russia and retreating back to Germany that you know it, they probably tore it off because it wasn't salvageable. That's my thought on that. I'm gonna put plenty of baggage on this uh, or stowage, what what have you, uh, to make it look like they had everything that they could get on it to get to where they needed to be. This is the, I'm not quite sure how to say this, uh, DES kit. Des kit, day kit, it's from France. I had showed you this before. Just wanted to show you that I have scrubbed it down in dish water. Uh, water with soaked dish detergent, I should say. And of course the base. Uh, if I incorporate this base, then I'm going to use uh, you know a larger foundation for the diorama. But being that I'm more of a figure builder than anything else, I had this idea of doing something as such. You know, uh, just bear with me here. Uh, you know this figuring something like this. I'm going to have to lean him against the church for now, but so he doesn't fall. Whoops, he's shot. He's wounded. Ah, oh, he died. Anyway. Oh, wait. 